Hi and welcome to Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. Today is November 28th, 2016. My name's Jennifer and I am your Thursday vlogger. I'm actually filming this video on Monday, November 28th um, because I was flying on Thursday. I am in Las Vegas, Nevada on a girl's trip. Uh, we decided to come down for the holiday weekend and um, I'm actually, I got up early and we're flying back today. So I thought I would, this is a perfect opportunity to make this video for you guys so I can get it out there. Um, so let's just dive right into it. What is the one thing you will do or have done today that will make you feel proud and serve the best interest of you being a weight loss surgery peep? Tell us about it. Why does it make you feel proud? Why does it matter? And how does it serve you as a weight loss surgery peep? I've actually been doing a little bit of reflection. I've had um, some time to think while being on vacation and um, I have had a little bit of regain lately and I've discussed that in a few videos. I am 10 pounds higher than my lowest surgery weight and um, I can feel it. I can feel it in my clothes. I can feel it in my head, if that makes sense. I just feel um, a friend of mine put the word fluffy out there and that's exactly how I feel. I don't feel um, strong. I don't feel uh, the fit version of myself and I don't like the way that that makes me feel. Um, I A lot of it has to do with my mental mindset and I guess I can give a little bit of background without going into great detail. Um, I didn't have the best childhood. Um, I wasn't a planned pregnancy and my parents just, I don't know if, I don't know if I was ever wanted, let's say that. Um, I think that they loved me, but they never made me feel like I was worthy of anything. I mean, I because I set goals for myself, they tore them down and, and would tell me that um, I was a stuck up bitch because I had goals. Um, how would that make you feel about your self-esteem? Because you wanted a better life for yourself. You wanted a goal to um, have a better home, to take a vacation, to have a savings account. Uh, normal goals, right? Normal adult goals. Um, but for your own parents to tell you that, you know, that that makes you a stuck up person um, and a person that isn't worthy of those things, not worthy of a college education, not worthy of a better life for myself, it makes you start to feel like they're right. And it makes you, well, it makes me emotionally turn to food for comfort. And I've been doing that a little bit lately. And I, um, I'm not blaming my parents right now. This is all me. This is all um, choices that I've made. <laughs> I've made choices to turn to food for comfort. And, um, I'm trying to let my past go and it's gonna take time but I think I think the time is now to really just kind of shed that off um, I need to keep telling myself that I am worthy of these things that I'm worthy of the body that I want this is the main thing right here guys I'm almost five years post-op and most people have their plastic surgery after year two. I didn't, um, mainly because I wanted to still try for children and I've come to the realization that I'm never going to carry a child in this body. So it's okay for me to go ahead and pursue plastic surgery, but why am I not pursuing it right now? There's a financial aspect there, but um, it's something I can save for, but I haven't been. Um, it is, it 
it is probably why I'm not at my goal right now. Also, um, I need to get this regain off. I need to get myself a little bit below before I actually pursue plastic surgery. Um, and I need to keep telling myself that I'm worthy of it. I'm worthy of the body that I should have had in the first place. <laughs> I'm not asking for a miracle. I mean, I, I just want the loose skin gone. I want to be able to run without hurting from the skin bouncing around. Um, I want to be able to exercise without looking everything flapping every which way. <laughs> you know, I, I feel like I'm still a young woman and I look in the mirror and all I see is an old woman's body underneath the, these clothes. It's really not fair. Um, so the goals that I've made my, for myself is to keep reminding myself that I'm worthy and worthy of this. It makes me feel proud to know that I've stumbled across this re oh, what am I trying to say? I realize now that my parents probably felt the same way about themselves. They probably it's probably a cycle handed down from their parents. And I don't, I don't blame them. I just, I want to end the cycle. <laughs> um, and I hope that they feel that they're worthy. I hope that they've learned that by now as well. Um, because everybody is. Everybody's worthy of the things that they want in life. I'm not asking for, you know, a mansion on the hill and a million dollars. That's not what I'm looking for. But I do want to feel... I'm worthy of the smaller things in life, of being happy, happy with what I have, happy with who I have, um, happy with my chosen family, and happy with the body that I'm in. I'm getting there, and I'm working on these goals, and I'm working, working inside here first, and I think that as soon as I realize in here that um, I deserve all of this, that it's going to show, it's going to pay off. So that's how I see the topic this week, guys. I hope that um, hope you take something away from it. Maybe some of you actually can kind of see yourselves in in this topic as well. If you want, make a response video. Give me a like, subscribe, stay tuned for another episode tomorrow, and come back and see me on Thursday this week. All right, guys, I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving and um, spent time with your loved ones. All right, I will see you later. Bye.